Hey, what's up you guys? It's TSL Tyler here. I'm here with my friend Courtney and we're gonna go ahead and compare two baseline Apple products because a couple people have actually asked what's better and I have not had access to a 2019 MacBook Air, but now I do. Uh, as you guys know from my unboxing video, I have the 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro. Um, she has the 2019 13 inch MacBook Air. So we're gonna go ahead and run some benchmarks and just some real world tests and just kind of see how they both stack up. You guys can kind of be the judge for what's best for you. I will say right off the bat, if you're going to do any video editing or anything, obviously you're gonna wanna cough up the extra cash because this has um, a much bigger graphics card, much faster processor, but for day-to-day -day use, let's say just Facebook, Netflix, you know, all that, Okay, so the first numbers we're gonna go ahead and talk about is the price. Now, if you're gonna go ahead and do video editing and heavy audio editing, you're going to be spending quite a good amount of money. Just for the baseline MacBook Pro 16 inch, you're gonna go ahead and spend about $23.99, which is pretty hefty. But if you wanted to use it for more day-to-day -day things like Netflix, Facebook, maybe just light iMovie editing, the MacBook Air, it comes in at $1,099 and that's before tax. Okay, so our first test is going to go ahead and be Blackmagic speed test. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, it's just a disk read and write speed test. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and give you guys some real world numbers here. Okay, so as you guys saw from the Cinebench test, the MacBook Pro 16 inch obviously destroyed the MacBook Air at 2,767 points, where the MacBook Air got 647, which is not actually too bad, but for, you know, professional applications, you're definitely gonna want more uh, more processing power um, but now we're gonna get on to other things such as maybe like a sound test what are, what can you expect to hear from these laptops versus also what can you expect to have them record with the built-in mic so we're gonna go ahead and get to that don't say my name you call on me when you just saving clips of my name I don't know where you think you're going. Don't say my name. Hey, you call on me when you're saving clips of my name. Hey, yeah, I don't know where you think you are going. Don't say my name. Don't say my name. No, no. You know my heart's gold. Uh, yeah. Don't say my name. You call on me when you're saving clips of my name. I don't know where you think you're going. Don't say my name. Hey, you call on me when you save it. Clips of my name. Hey, yeah, I don't know where you think you were going. Don't say my name. Don't say my name. No. Uh, yeah. Don't say my name. You call on me when you save it. Clips of my name. Hey, I don't know where you think you were going. Don't say my name.
An audio test of the built-in webcam and microphones in the MacBook Pro 16-inch. <laughs> I'm just keeping that. This is a test of the 13-inch MacBook Air 2019 uh, with the built-in webcam and the built-in microphones. Okay, so as you guys can see from all of the tests, obviously the MacBook Pro came out on top, which should be no surprise because it is more than double, actually after tax, basically triple the price for a baseline model. So it's expected that it came out on top. But like we were saying, depending on your usage, where I do like really heavy video editing and audio processing for a living, uh, this machine fits me very well, where a MacBook Air would probably just bottleneck it for me and it would be a little bit slow. But if you're just gonna be web surfing, checking your email, maybe just ha typing Word documents on the go, I'd say it's a pretty good little computer. Yeah, and then like everyday use for me, I, I scroll through social medias like Facebook, Twitter on here. Uh, I use it, I use it to FaceTime because sometimes I don't want to use my phone. Um, but the general, like the main use that I have on this is playing music, watching Netflix, and watching YouTube. And then now that I'm hopefully starting YouTube, I will be editing more on this. Yeah, so all in all, this computer is great if you're maybe a student. If you're a student and you want a really reliable computer. Especially because like this is big. Yeah. This is huge. Yeah, and if like the, the thickness. Size, like the thickness, the size, and everything, it's just like... It's definitely, they're big. Yeah. And I know I'm gonna s take the words out of you guys' mouths right now, because I know someone's gonna comment, well, I can go get a $400 PC that's faster than the MacBook Air. That's probably true. In fact, my friend Eric has a laptop that scored a 1,500 on Cinebench, and it was a $399 HP laptop. All right, yeah, there are faster computers out there for a lot cheaper, the build quality on this computer is plastic and not as good though. So, you know, when you're buying one of these, you just gotta know what you're getting into. You're buying it for Mac OS and you're also buying it just for the build quality because they're all metal and they're pretty damn tough. All right guys, so that about wraps up this comparison between the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air. None of us even thought Question for a second. Like, no, it, we knew this was gonna be slower because, I mean, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but we are going to try to get a 13 inch MacBook Pro, just a baseline 128 gigabyte storage, just touch by MacBook Pro and compare that to this because the pricing is pretty down similar. I think only $200 more yeah. for the MacBook Pro that we're gonna compare next time. So it'll probably be a little bit more of an even battle. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please leave a like on this video or if you didn't like it, let me know in the comments below. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs> I hope you know that's staying in. I know it is. Um, and the first number we're going to give you it. Excuse me, that was very disrespectful. Silence your phones. That was very, very improfessional. Improfessional. <laughs>